We're at the Soddy Trends CV show in Lyon, and we've got some amazing news for you. Now, just last week, Tesla launched its concept semi-electric truck, and now it's Renault's turn. Now, if you follow me, I'm gonna try and push my way to the front of the crowds to show you it in the flesh. Why is there no one here? Don't they realize what a big deal this is? Will might be excited about this truck, but it seems that he's the only one. The simple fact of the matter is that the Renault Range D Electric is boring. It doesn't have any novelty features, it can't do 0 to 60 in less than three seconds, you don't sit in the middle of the truck, and it doesn't look cool, like Darth Vader's helmet or something like that. It's just not interesting. George is right. This 13-tonne zero-emission truck doesn't have what it takes to grab the headlines, but what it does have going for it is it's real. This isn't a concept. This actual truck started working for a living last week, delivering oysters to an indoor market. How long is it going to be until you see a Tesla on our roads? That's the thing though, Will. Is it actually going to be a long time? Tesla know an awful lot about building electric vehicles and they've been pretty successful at it as well. So don't rule them out. Renault and its sister companies have got a fair bit of experience with electric vehicles as well. Berlier made its first electric truck in the 1920s. In my opinion, the Tesla just doesn't make financial sense. I mean, look at the evidence. A long haul tractor unit typically uses between 250 and 300 litres of diesel a day. Now, replicate that by batteries and you're looking at a 14 or 15 tonne battery. That's a third of the weight of the truck. How does that make sense? Renault tells me that by 2020, they'll have a second generation of this truck and it'll be cheaper and it'll actually be a profitable alternative to diesel. Now imagine that, a zero emission truck that makes financial sense. Now that is a novelty.